Hello. Ever wondered why are we on earth? Um, many a times we think about our purpose of our purpose of being on this earth. Okay, and it especially happens. We especially think about it when we are depressed. Okay, and we have nothing to think of, and therefore we see. Okay, fine. Nobody is uh, uh, nobody is talking to me. I am so lonely, and then I have no uh, I have no other purpose in life now. What am I going to do? Sometimes we think all these kind of thoughts around us. Okay, so what is our purpose in this life? What is our purpose? What is the purpose of our birth? William Shakespeare has answered these questions beautifully. Okay, in his play, as you like it, in the Act Two, he begins his Act Two with this monologue. What is a monologue? A monologue is a speech that is said aloud, that one character said aloud to himself. Okay, when you speak to yourself, but you speak loudly, that is a monologue. so in his play as you like it he has begun with this very speech this very poem which is the monologue okay and in this poem this poem is named as you like uh, this poem is named all the worlds a stage all the world is a stage do you believe in him do you think all the world is really a stage now when william shakespeare has said something we have to believe him right it's not because uh, it's not because he is saying who is william shakespeare if we have to believe william shakespeare what he is he saying is correct why do you think we must believe him he was uh, he was a famous english playwright okay playwright novelist uh, sorry playwright story writers he was a poet and he was too many things he was quite famous during his time it's been four that's why it's like and whatever he wrote he always wrote about human emotions he never wrote about that particular era or that particular time wherein he existed he always wrote about human emotions his focus his prime focus of the prime focus of his write ups was always human emotions and therefore we even after 400 years of his existence we are learning shakespeare okay and we are learning shakespeare with that same enthusiasm in that same tempo we can we can relate to his things and we can relate to whatever he has written because he writes mostly about love ambition greed jealousy etc all of these human emotions don't you think these all most human emotions even exist in us and every time we play a different role with somebody <clears throat> i behave very lovingly with somebody else i hate that person and therefore i'm quite rude to that person the other person just because i am jealous of him i mean just because that person is uh, promoted higher obviously like i could be jealous of him right there are too many reasons there are too many things there are too many roles in which we there are too many ways in which we behave with other people william shakespeare in this poem too he has highlighted the fact that as humans we are born with a purpose and what is the purpose the purpose being seven ages he has divided the human life into seven stages called seven ages according to him william shakespeare says that life is a stage this world this world is a stage and therefore we are only actors we all humans we are all actors okay and just as in a play the various actors have their entry at different time and have their exit at different time similarly we too in our lives we have our entries and our exits so when we are going to entry when are we going to enter when are we going to exit that is all dependent upon the lord almighty okay we are only players we do not know what's going to happen next right we do know we only know our part all right so let us begin with this all the worlds a stage so william shakespeare says all the worlds a stage and all men and women merely players so according to him what are we all the worlds a stage we are all actors players actors okay we are all merely 
players we are all merely actors they have their exits and entries we all have our various we all have our exits and we all have our entries at different times we enter we at different times at a stipulated period of time we exit and we enter and one man in his life plays many parts and one man in his life one man one human being in his life plays many parts plays many parts he plays a part of uh, sometimes he plays a part of a lover sometimes he plays a part of a uh, uh, of a schoolboy sometimes he plays a part of an old man so in this manner william shakespeare has classified life into seven stages okay so he says he acts his acts being seven ages okay so his acts being seven ages seven ages or say there are seven different roles that we play now which is the first role that we are going to play obviously when we are when when we when we enter on this stage called the world okay how do we enter we enter as an infant okay so the first stage is that of an infant can you tell me some of the features of an infant can an infant do anything of its own can an infant smile of its own can an infant can an infant even can an infant even walk of its own can it eat on its own no the infant is an absolutely is an absolutely in uh, helpless human okay so he says at first the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms mewling and puking what is mewling mewling means it is crying mewling is the crying sound especially of the babies okay so when we are baby we will only cry like that only when we are hungry only when the baby has uh, <coughs> baby has uh, dirty the diapers or something at that time the baby is going to cry okay otherwise the baby will be absolutely happy it will be sleeping okay it cannot do anything of its own so an infant the first stage of the human life is of an infant as an infant according to shakespeare he says that as an infant we are only mewling that means we are crying we just cry like a baby okay we cry softly and we are puking puking why because we sometimes we just bring up the food bring up the milk that we have had okay so babies usually do that okay so at time many a times we just and so uh, at an infant stage what are we doing we only keep crying and we only keep puking correct and for and we are so helpless for we are so helpless that for everything we depend upon the mother right so the first stage is of an infant which is a helpless child okay completely dependent on mother so over here in short he says it again man is a loser at every step shakespeare has said that we we in some way we lose everything okay we lose everything means what in order to gain something we lose the other okay suppose it's like it's like if i have to do if i have to do a particular task if i am supposed to do a particular task all right i will have to a particular task at my workplace i will have to choose between the two either i select my workplace or i select my family okay if i select either of the two i am definitely going to sacrifice the other if i select my family i'm going to sacrifice my job if i select my job i will have to sacrifice my family right so when i achieve something i lose something else okay so the same thing goes with the quality okay the human qualities when i'm trying to achieve one quality i am losing on the other okay so in this way william shakespeare says that in some way or the other human beings human beings are helpless and human beings are losers okay human beings lose man loses okay so his acts being seven ages at first the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms then the whining school boy the second stage which is the second stage now the second stage is of the whining school boy what do you mean by whining whining school boy a whining school boy sorry i i write the b over here okay fine a whining school boy 
Whining school boy, why whining? The person who is crying and not at all interested in going to school, right? Because early in the morning you have to wake up to go to school, and who wants to wake up early in the morning? Come on. Okay, so uh, the second stage is of a whining school boy who does not want to school, but then so unwillingly the boy has to wake up early in the morning and he has to go to school. He carries his satchel. Satchel is what? Satchel is a school bag. Okay, so then the whining school boy with his satchel and shining morning. Morning face, shining morning face. The morning face. He is the in the morning. The face is obviously shining. Why? Because it is fresh. Okay. The face is absolutely fresh. But the boy is. But we are unwilling to get up early in the morning and to go to school. Okay. So and shining morning face, creeping like a snail, creeping like a snail, very slowly walking. Oh no, I don't want to go to school. It's better that I get late. So if I get late, obviously mother will say, okay, fine. There is no need to go to school now because it's pretty late. Might as well sleep at home. Okay. Or else, if you go to school so late, often. then obviously you will be suspended you will you will have to go out i mean you nobody is going to take you so late in school okay so either of the ways he says creeping the creeping like snail okay unwillingly to school so the what is the first stage what is the first stage what is the first role that we as humans we play the first role we play as infant right wherein we are helpless wherein a man is helpless Okay, he has to completely depend upon his mother. What is he doing at this stage? He is only mewling, that is crying and puking. Okay, and the second stage is of a whining schoolboy, wherein for uh, the wherein we don't even wherein we don't want to go to school. Okay, and uh, what uh, and unwillingly we wake up, we creep, uh, we creep very slowly towards the school. We take up our bags and we walk towards the school. Okay, unwillingly to school, and then the lover. Oh, I feel this must be the interesting stage for you. Okay, the third one, and then of a lover. Okay, now as the child, as we grow up. Okay, as we grow up, we tend to be attracted towards the other gender, and that is quite common. Okay, as we grow up, these things are going to happen. These things are bound to happen. Okay, so he says that the third stage is of a lover. Okay, wherein the wherein the man is full of energy. Okay, therefore it is written over there, burning like a furnace. Okay, so it says, and the lover sighing like furnace, sighing like a furnace. You know how hot the furnace is. This indicates the ample energy that the young man, that the young boy has. Okay, the around sixteen, twenty, sixteen to twenty year old boy, the one who has a lot of energy, and at that time when he is attracted to the lover, he does everything to please his uh, everything to please his mate. He will do everything and anything. He will also risk his life. Okay, and he will uh, go. He will work really hard. Okay, in order to bring joys to his love. Okay, in order to do everything that his love could be happy. Okay.